pork chop, aka Curtis Cameron. I'll give you guys a little bit of a backstory on this guy as you watch him crush a lot of the high hookers. Curtis has not been arm wrestling a long time. I think like two years. Time time is all screwed up for me, but hey, like I don't think it's even been three. I think two years or so he's been pulling. The first time I met this guy was at a tournament that Eric put on. Saw him over in the corner. I'm like, oh, there's a bodybuilder. Went over and I was like, have you ever done this before? And he's like, no, just with my friends. I'm like, okay, good to know. All my kids entered, my wife entered, everybody won. They made me into the tournament. I have a match with Curtis. I line up to hit him as hard as I can. First match of the day for me, right hand. I hit him as hard as I could, and he stopped me about an inch from the pad. First time ever on an arm wrestling table. I was like, who is this guy? Uh, and right afterwards, I go over to my buddy Jeff Slater, and I'm like, Jeff, that this guy is ridiculous. He's like, oh, my God. Watch what he's going to do with Alexander Paquette. Alexander Paquette is the net, well, he was the best guy in Quebec at the time. His first tournament ever without any arm wrestling experience, Curtis gets in like a 30 second war with the provincial champion and he ruins the guy's day. Curtis has been arm wrestling now. Um, really, really like. Probably his primary focus. I think the things changed for him over the course of the pandemic, actually. So, like I said, Curtis came into the sport ridiculously strong. One of those guys who can, you know, bench 500 for reps and stuff like that. But, you know, with the uh, with the lockdowns and everything, he kind of stopped going to the gym so much and really focused on arm wrestling. I think that a lot of people are going to be emerging from the lockdowns like on different levels. Curtis is one of those guys. He has really been on a tear the last little while. Biggest event in Ontario, he won it right-handed. So where does that put him in the province of Ontario? He's beaten Evan. He's beaten the field. The last guy standing is Rick Heidelbrecht, the great big giant from uh, southwestern Ontario, who he's going to have a match with. Uh, yeah. Same day I'm pulling that punk Yannick, the 13th there in Barrie. Anyways, uh, keep your eyes on this dude. He is undoubtedly making waves. Uh, rookie all-star. I won't be surprised if you see this guy go on to do some some awesome stuff. Uh, I'll post a link below. You can check him out on Instagram. The dude just trains like a machine. Yeah. Pork Chop, a.k.a. Curtis.